Hello and welcome to new parenting training. So I've been using my Blue Bowl espresso machine for some time now and I'm not really a professional in making coffee but yeah, that machine really helps a lot. Throughout the years I have noticed that if I just use the provided tool to tamp down the coffee pug, it doesn't really get a good distribution of coffee all around in the porter filter. And so I went out and got some tools from the norm core. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by the way. Uh, it's just something that I am really interested in. And then I went out and got the parts for it to try it out. Now, uh, these two are very different, uh, but they are all WDT. So it's a wise distribution technique. Uh, that's what they call it. So anyway, so these are very different. Well, this big one here, this one can actually attach to the porter filter and distribute coffee within the porter filter while you're doing much you just have to twist and it will work that way. So here is the, the tool itself. Oh, so it goes up like this. Now the reason why I chose this brand is really hard for me to find something like this that will go on top of the porter filter and uh, to do the work that I wanted to. Oh, here are the needles. So I'm going to try to install this a little bit. I think the needle goes into here. Uh, I'll figure it out in a little bit. And let's see, what about this one? Not exactly sure what these are. We'll figure it out in a little bit. And here are some needles. Here's the tool that I'm talking about. So here are the two different kinds. So anyway, let me go set this up and then try them out. Here are the two distribution tool. Side by side, look at the size and the length. They're very different. Uh, anyway, uh, let's try out this needle one first. For this tool, the needles are already installed, but they also provide you with some spare parts. So if you do ever need to change the needles, all you need to do is just open up the top, twist it open, and then push one of the needle out to get the gasket out, and then you can change the needles that way. I strongly suggest you to get one of this type of funnel. This way you can keep all the coffee within, less of a mess. Because a lot of time what happens is when you are grinding up the coffee, it might uh, shoot out from the side. So this way you keep everything clean and neat. All right. Now this is the point that I don't understand. Uh, see those big chunks? Yeah, I don't know why they always come out like that. So a lot of time, what happens is once you run out the coffee, those big chunks, this will help break them out. Okay, just do this a little bit and then break up all the big chunk of those coffee grounds. And this is why it's so helpful with the funnel because all the coffee will not come out. Anyway, so now it's more loose, like the chunks are got way smaller. I'm going to use one of this to get rid of the excess and then tamp it down. Now normally I do on a flat surface, but for the purpose of just filming, I kind of have to do it here. It's not ideal. Alright, here's the coffee. My pressure was pretty good and this is a decent pull. Alright, next we're going to talk about this one. This is the 54mm distribution tool. So for this 54mm tool, the needles were not installed when I unbox it. So I had to install it myself. It's relatively easy. All you have to do is just twist the metal plate off and fish the needle through the opening on the plate itself and then 
screw the plate back onto the tool itself. Right. Again, there are some chunks inside here. So what you need to do now is to take this and cover the portal filter like so and just twist. It's very easy, very simple. And now once you have done so you just put it back and there are some brush inside if you have some residual of coffee ground on the needle you put the back and twist and that's it all right now as you can see uh, most of the chunks are already broken up into more fine coffee grounds so this helps a lot again uh, normally i do it on a flat surface but for filming i'm just going to do it here And look at the pulp, look pretty even. Alright, so here's the coffee. Pretty decent pull. Now my final thought about them is that they are really good at what they are set out to do, which is help break up all the coffee ground. Now for the long needle one, that one, the pro is that it's relative affordable compared to the 54 millimeter one. The con for that one is you definitely need to have a funnel on top of your porter filter. Otherwise, if you're using this tool, it, the coffee will come out of the porter filter. That's for sure. Now, as far as for the 54 millimeter one, the pro is that if you don't have a funnel, which is totally fine because this will cover the porter filter. And then when you're using it, all the coffee will not come out of the porter filter. And another good thing about it is it comes with a base. So it's easy for you to just kind of put it aside. It's not going to stick out as a sore thumb. And also, I couldn't find any other 54 millimeter distribution tool aside from the norm core as far as i know they are the only one that doing the 54 millimeter the more common one is the 58 millimeter now the con for this tool is is more expensive compared to just a long needle distribution tool just bear that in mind when you want to purchase it so anyway this is my comparison between these two wdt tools and if you have any questions comment down below until next time bye